Welcome to the channel, guys. Everybody that's been watching, appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, we're kind of switching gears from uh, trapping season. The only thing left in my trapping season is to get my traps organized and put up. But the, right at the end of trapping season, uh, the bee swarm started, and I got my first swarm today. I uh, thought I'd get out here and just do kind of a basic of what you need if you don't know much about bees just some of the basic equipment you're going to need and just kind of how, how basically the colony works but you can see right here is my hives behind us uh, i went through them this last weekend uh, so about four days ago i went through all these hives we've got a whole lot of activity right here at this one uh, i think i think i'll go into it today just to kind of show you guys what the inside of a hive looks like but guys, just kind of just talk you through some of the some of the basics you're going to need for a bee colony. You can see these boxes that the the bee colony itself is going to live in that bottom box, and that's called a deep box. Uh, if you look over here at this hive next to it, it's a double deep. So we got two deep boxes, and then on top of it, I've got a smaller called basically called a super or a medium. And uh, that's where I'm just trying to get some comb drawed out right now into that. Uh, that's where your honey will be. So your bees will live and produce. They'll have their food, their pollen, the bees, the larvae, the queen. All, most of your nurse bees, all are going to be in those bottom deep or bottom double deep. Just depends on how you want to set them up. Not for sure what's happening here if I'm getting robbed or what it's kind of a suspicion i got but i'm going to get into this box and uh see if we can uh figure out what's going on in it now some of the other equipment that you're going to want getting started i mean you're going to have to have your your high body and your frames uh after that you're going to want a smoker of some sort so at minimum, guys, you're going to want a smoker. You're probably going to want to get at least a bee veil to go on your head. And uh, that, you're probably going to want a full jacket starting off if you're not familiar or comfortable with bees. Uh, at minimum, you want a hat veil to protect your face. Uh, but you can get a full bodysuit veil or just the jacket with the hood on it veil. You're going to want one of those. And then you're going to want... going to want a hive tool. Here's two different style hive tools. You just got your hook and you can manipulate your frames. You got a scraper on this end. You can scrape your wax, clean your comb up, uh, pry with it. It's just a different style. You got your uh, basically like a paint scraper on this end. You can scrape your wax or clean your frames up. On this end you can uh, you can manipulate and pry between your frames. It's also got this hook on the side where you can hook those frames out of there and you'll see me you'll see me using those here in a minute all right guys so we're just gonna we're just gonna fry the top of this thing open take the top off fry this this is an inner cover you don't necessarily have to have it uh, but it is beneficial and open that inner cover up we're just gonna smoke smoke inside that hive Yeah, I think what happened here, guys, uh, this this uh, box is getting robbed out. When I tried, what happened, what I tried to do, I found some queen cells uh, the other day. So I pulled those frames of the queen cells out and moved them into this box. I think what's happened, I didn't give it a big enough population of bees and... Uh, they weren't able to protect protect their box. Let me look at it. A lot of times whenever they're fighting like this, those bees are fighting each other. It's, it's the bees out of these other hives coming into this one. So each colony of bees, they're all fighting each other. So a lot of times these type of situations, the bees aren't calm. So there's a good chance I might get stung here in a minute. I'm going to keep looking in here. All right, guys. So there's... There's one of my queen cells. This is the frame I put in there. You can see those right here on the bottom. I've got a queen cup right here. I've got a queen cup right here. 
hopefully you can see both of those there's one there on the bottom of the frame a swarm cell right here in the middle guys and and this colony didn't have a queen so i was trying to do a split and uh, didn't have a big enough population for that so i think what i may do i'm gonna grab a little nuke box over here I gave these bees too much room and the bees that were inside the box uh, weren't enough to protect it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to change that. We're gonna put them down in this smaller new box. We'll open this end up. We're gonna pull that frame that's got the, the uh, queen cells on it. We're gonna place it right here in the middle. look at this next frame see what it looks like uh, we got that's a food frame it's got quite a bit of honey uh, a little bit of bee bread guys you can see the cat honey and then uh, we got some uh, nectar around the edges that are shining and uh, you can see right down there Right down there in that bottom corner, some bee bread pollen the bees uh, feed the larvae. So we're going to put that food frame out here on the outside edge. Let's look at this next one, see what we got. All right, guys, that bee was trying to sting me. It was in my beard and wasn't able to sting me but i know it was trying to because i could smell uh what well, smells like bananas a pheromone that they put out whenever they sting uh basically an alert pheromone that something's happening warning the other bees it smells like banana and i could smell that that bee guy right here in my beard couldn't get down to my skin to sting me but i smelled that in there and they're still kind of coming at me just hitting me, tapping me, and letting me know they're not happy. This frame, guys, is going to be another food frame. A little bit of a uh, lot of honey, a lot of bee bread in this frame, and then that little bit of uh, uh, hatching larva there that's capped over. We're going to put it over here on this outside edge. Need need several more frames of larvae in here so uh, the bees are hatching. Let's see Let's what this next one is. All right, guys, this is a frame. Let's see, larva capped over brood. I'm looking down in these cells, trying to see if it's eggs or if those have already hatched out. And there you see, we got a small capped over queen cell there she's not it's not gonna be enough room for her to be fully emerge, emerge see one here that's in the process of getting capped over guys so they're they're making queen cells right here on this frame too so we're gonna go ahead and drop it down in there as well right here in the middle This is a heavy frame here, guys. It's gonna be a food frame, a lot of honey. We're gonna, we're gonna move it to another box. And I want one frame of, one frame of larva. All right, this frame is gonna be mostly empty. Uh, Yeah, this is an empty frame. There's a little bit of honey up here. Some nectar that they're bringing in shining. We're going to leave that frame out. This next frame is going to be an empty frame as well. Nothing in it. Let's take a look at these first two again. This one's got some. Cat brew. Getting ready to hatch. Again, I'm just looking down in those empty cells trying to see. It's actually got quite a bit of bee bread on it, too. I'm 
trying to see if there's any eggs down in these cells or larvae where a queen come in and laid. And actually, we got quite a bit of brood over here on this on this side of this frame too. We may we're gonna put it down in here in this new box. All right, guys, you can tell it's already uh, calmed down quite a bit. All those bees robbing. Let's pull this one out and look at it. It's uh, just getting stung right here, guys. You just want to pull that stinger out when that happens. Take a little bit of smoke. Take a little bit of smoke, smoke on that area to cover that pheromone, that banana, that banana smell we were talking about. Set this frame down here for a minute. One got me over here on this finger too. You can see that stinger in there? Guys, you want to pull that stinger out just as fast as you can. Because that stinger comes out of the bee, but it keeps pumping that venom into your finger. So you want to pull that stinger out as fast as you can. All right, guys, let's take a look at this frame. It's not fully drawn out. There's really no, not many resources at all. We're gonna shake these bees into this nuke. Just a little bit of bee bread on that frame, guys. Other than that, there's not much at all going on. All right, we got five frames in this five frame nuke. So we're going to scoot this back over to the center. All right, there we go. Let's get them closed up real quick, guys. All I'm going to do... Move this box over here to the side for a minute. I'm making a mess. Try to shake some of these bees down in there. I'll leave this box turned up here on its end. This is an empty frame that come out of there. We're going to shake these bees off in here. Set it over to the side, guys. We're just going to slide this nuke right back over here where that box, place where that box is sitting. Put the lid on it. All right, guys, now that's condensed down into a smaller box, and those bees will be able to protect that entrance from the other hives and uh, those queen cells. Hopefully, within this next weekend, those queen cells will hatch and we'll get a mated queen in this colony. We can start a new colony out of this box of bees. So, I'm gonna pop this lid. Got a few bees hanging out up there on it. We'll take a little bit of smoke, guys. We'll smoke down in inside this inner cover here. Let them know we're coming in. Let's pop that. Pop that top up. We'll put a little bit more smoke in there. Just kind of calm them down. Take this box off here and leave it for now. Honey flow's not far away. I just don't want to run into another situation having too much room. And if you're gonna try to grow comb, you need to you need to uh, have feed, pour feed to them. And it's something I, I got into these four days ago. Put this on here, planned on coming back out here and putting some feed on them. Never did get around to doing it uh, as part of it. But anyway, guys, set this thing over here to the side. Quite a few bees in there. Every frame's got bees on it. So this this. Uh, this colony's doing well. Let's break these frames loose. Just kind of pry with our tool there. Give them a little bit of smoke. And let's go in here and, and look at this colony real quick. Uh, it's kind of back to the basics, guys. 
this frame hopefully you guys will be able to see that shiny just looks like water uh glistening in there and that's that's our nectar coming in so something we're at the beginning of our honey flow pretty close it's not the main flow but we do have quite a bit of nectar coming in now looking around the rest of this frame there's nothing else in there it's all just empty cells except for what they're putting that nectar in right now this other side completely empty see nothing in it at all so we're just going to lay lay that frame over here off to the side that's going to give us room to manipulate and go through the rest of these frames and look at them this outside frame is going to be probably empty as well maybe some honey in it there we go just empty cells empty cells I believe I had a we'll set it over here as well let's go into this next one so normally your outside frames are your food frames and then your brood box is in the middle this one's got a little bit more weight to it there you go guys just just more nectar almost completely full of nectar that they're bringing in right here this other side empty nothing in it so that's they're starting to bring in some nectar and fill this up. You can see right here, we've got emergency queen cells starting here. Bunches of them. We're gonna, we're gonna knock all these, actually, if we can find one of these frames, it's got a whole bunch of eggs in it. Look at all those queen cells. All right, this right here frame is plumb full of larva, guys. Little, you can get in and there on one on some of those cells. You can see a couple of them capped over there. These small ones are just going to be your worker bees, and then these small, these little bit bigger cells are going to be your drone. These are turned downward. They're going to be uh, emergency queen cells. Here as well on this side and they all got royal jelly and larva down in there so i'm gonna take this frame and i'm gonna put it over into that into that nuke that we just made just to make sure that we get a queen come out of there let's pull this over and look at this next frame All right, a lot of cap cells there, guys. You can see all these bees that are fixing to hatch. Same thing on this side, a lot of cells. They're starting to backfill it with honey as they hatch. They're coming in here and they're filling those cells with nectar. So we got some nectar coming in, but they're still, we're still not past that swarming tendency. All right, good frame, good frame of brood there, guys. You see these queen cups on the bottom. Actually got something going on in this one. Let's open it up. And some rural jelly, rural jelly. And these other ones, there's nothing going on in, guys. And we're gonna, we're gonna open all these up just to keep them from uh from hopefully we can change their mind about wanting to swarm let's look over here and see what we got right here all right i'm gonna drop that one back down in there look at this next one There's gonna be some more bees hatch. Uh, queen hadn't been back up here. When you go in, make sure we get all those queen cells tore out or removed that we don't want in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep going through this colony frame by frame, making sure there's no more queen cells. And 
empty frame here too guys so they've got plenty of room this right here is completely full of bee bread you can see all that pollen in there that's going to be the end of our brood uh nest there that's where they store when you got all that pollen in there that means your brood nest is going to be here that's the boundary that bee bread is what they use to feed those those young bees let's open this one up it's a lot frame plum full of bee bread so these this colony has got plenty of food both sides just plum full of bee bread we're going to scoot this is a honey frame here we're going to put this other bee bread frame in, in here and we had a couple of those first frames we had didn't have much going on in them so we're going to this one's not going to have much going on as, as well just a new uh some new comb they're making there we're going to scoot this bee bread frame out here we're going to drop this new comb frame right down here guys this frame right here is completely empty we're going to put it right here And scoot these over and we'll put this other other empty frame out here on the other side of this colony actually i think i'm gonna put it put it right it's gonna be warm enough now here i don't think i have to worry about splitting that bird nest up we're gonna put this frame just a little bit of honey in it but a lot of empty cells we're gonna drop it right here in the middle to give that queen some some more room to, to lay hopefully not have to worry about worry about them swarming there we go guys let's check this this frame we got out here all right this is the frame had those queen cells on it and god i think we had plenty in that other colony we're just going to come in here and we're going to we're going to take those those cells that those cups that got started we're going to destroy them we will go ahead and shake this frame of bees in here that way I can see, make sure that I don't miss any. We're just gonna destroy. Uh, the ones pointing down are our queens. These others are drones. So we're not worried about th those. Flip it over here to this side. We're gonna, gonna take these cups out. There we go, guys. We're just gonna drop this frame back out here on the outside edge, away from everything now, away from the brood nest. There we go. Give them a little bit of smoke from where I shook those in there. I'm going to pop this bottom box, the top box off here. We're just going to set it over here to the side. That's where I messed up. I don't know why I put that, uh, that screen board on or that screen on there yet. Anyway, we're going to take it off for now until the swarm, until the uh, swarm and tendencies of them are gone. We're not going to want that screen on there. Once the honey flow starts and they forget about swarming, then we will we will change them up, move them, uh, put that queen excluder on there, and try to just uh, keep our honey in our top boxes. So let's let's get into here. Since since they are wanting to swarm, guys, we'll go ahead and go through all these bottom frames too. Chances are we got them all up there with the top. We just want to make sure. Here's an empty frame too, so I'm not sure what I messed up putting that that, uh, that screen on there. I believe it's got some nectar in it, uh, a little bit of bee bread in that frame. We're going to set it over here to the side. We may move it to the middle here in a minute if the if they're starting to backfill that brood nest. We may move it over there into that middle and smoke them back down. So look at this next frame here. It's going to be light too. Okay, this side's completely full of bee bread, guys. You can see all that different colored pollen down in there. Flip it over here to this side. Not much going on at all there. So we're going to scoot this one out to the outside edge. Look at this next frame. 
got plenty of bees in this colony so this colony's doing good hopefully we can keep them uh get rid of that swarm tendency they got going on right now so you can see up here guys there's a lot of bee bread pollen kind of in a rainbow shape the corners normally have a uh, honey nectar in them this frame doesn't those are empty uh we've got some brood here hatching out in the center <clears throat> Same thing on this side, guys. We've got quite a bit of bee bread, kind of clog, almost clogging up a lot of bee bread around that outside edge. Let me shake these down in here so we can get a better look at that. Right there is, you can tell we got bees that are capped over, larvae that's capped over, gonna hatch in a few days. And then on the outside edge of that, that queen's done a decent job of coming back. You can see that other larva as we go out the bigger larva towards the center and then as we get out to the edge you can see you can see the little dots of eggs that hasn't turned into a larva yet so uh but but it is filled up pretty good with bee bread in here so we're gonna she's gonna need some room down here in this bottom box to uh to keep laying let's, let's smoke them again <clears throat> All right, full frame, plum full of uh, bees that are going to hatch out in a few days. You can tell she's coming behind, behind, and we got larva all again all along the outside edge where there's not any bee bread. Same thing on this side. Not a lot of nectar in these frame. All right, this frame's starting to have a little bit of nectar in it. Uh, a lot of bee bread. A lot of the shape down. Look at them. Normally I don't like to shake them this much, guys, but with those little cells, I want to be sure I don't miss a queen cup, and I want to be able to show you guys, show you guys what those, uh, what these frames look like. So you can tell, guys, where I shook that, part of that nectar flung out onto the frame. That tells me that that nectar was just brought in. It's fresh. So we've got a nectar flow coming in off something right now. All right, good frame, guys. You can tell uh, the pattern here is good. They come in back, filled it with a pollen, uh, filling that nest, and that's why they've got that tendency to swarm right now because that queen's running out of room. But she's come in behind it where she could, and she's laid uh, laid uh, laid eggs behind it, which has turned into larva here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this frame up while I got it out here, guys. I'm just gonna take. <clears throat> take this bottom here i'm just going to scrape all this this extra burr comb that's on the bottom of these frames off of there i'm going to go ahead and drop it back down in there Let's look at that next frame i really don't think we're going to have any swarm cells in this bottom box uh i think they were all in that top box that's because you know it's starting to get full but uh I'm gonna go ahead while we're here. We're just gonna keep on going through this colony, let you guys see it. See if we can spot that queen maybe here in a minute. Show you guys her. <clears throat> All right, same thing, guys. Just mixed egg and larva. This is a good candidate to have the queen on it. You see, egg, she's coming back in laying eggs on this frame. I bet you she's probably gonna be on the next one. These look. Now she may have it filled up and be over on that next frame, but I'm looking for her here. <clears throat> Not seeing her. Same thing though, this uh, frame is plum full of eggs, so this is a good queen. She's laying good, she's just running out of room. Not seeing her here, guys. I'm going to drop that back down in there. Let's go to this next frame, see if we can spot her on it. <clears throat> heavy heavier frame I don't see it's all capped over so she hadn't been working working this frame unless she's coming back in back filling some spots same thing here completely full of lar uh, capped larva bees getting ready to hatch so this colony is fixing to explode I might hot to
This would be a good opportunity, guys, to do a split if you wanted to. Those that top box had those queen cups in it. If you can, which we know the queens in this bottom box, we had that excluder on here. That may have been my thoughts the other day. Probably what I was going to do. I did spot the queen in this hive yesterday. I think that may, or when I went through them the other day, I think that may have been what I was gonna do. I think I confirmed the queen was in this bottom box. So I was gonna make a split with this colony. I think I, now that I think of it, they're, uh, we got nectar around this top corner, guys, and then eggs. Let's shake this frame off so we can get a good look at it. Yep, you can see here, guys, nectar, uh, a, a lot of bee bread in this corner. Little bit of nectar starting to come in down here in this top corner here. We've got this uh, bees that are fixing the hatch, rainbow shape, and she's come back in and she's completely got this whole center area uh, filled up with eggs and larvae. Same thing on this side. This I may have just shook her off this frame because this, this is a lot younger brood here just starting to turn into larvae on the top and we got eggs on the bottom and drop it down in here look at this next frame see if she might be on it but it, this would be a perfect opportunity if you want to do a split guys you can just take confine that queen to that bottom box like i did with that queen board come back in make sure that their your top box has emergency cells on it and uh just take that other box, move it, that top box, move it to a new area, and uh, and they'll make an emergency queen, and uh, she'll get up mated, and then uh, start producing. This, uh, this frame here, got a few, yep, eggs and larvae. She's got it full as well, guys. She may be on this frame. I'm looking forward to not seeing her yet. So that queen's filling all the places that she can. You can see guys down in here, those, those little larvae starting to turn into, or those eggs starting to turn into worms. So she's got this frame full as well. We just need to give her some more room. I think I'm gonna try to hang on to this colony, not split them, see if I can make some honey with them. Since we're this far in here, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through these last two frames and we'll put this thing back together get back in here this weekend make sure that we got all those those swarm cells out of it she's been over here as well guys eggs eggs whole center of this thing eggs and larvae I'm looking for her, I like to show you guys her. Sometimes you just don't don't spot her as you're going through. May be the case unless she's on this, this very last frame. Alright, this side, this side I'm not seeing any eggs, but you can tell them worker bees, they all got their heads down in there. They're cleaning those cells, getting ready for her to come around and lay eggs in them. Now this Flip this thing back over and make sure she's not on the other side of that frame. I missed her. I'm not seeing her there. We're going to drop it back down here. We'll go to this last frame. Maybe she's out here on this edge. It's not completely, completely drawed frame yet. We'll start working on it. You can see all those bees got their heads down in there. They're cleaning those, getting ready for her to uh, come around and lay in them. Both of these being empty, guys, I'm gonna spread them. I'm gonna take these two frames that don't have much going on with them. This one here, I'm gonna move it to the center. Get 
give her some room more toward the center to lay. We're just going to split this and pull this whole thing out to this edge, guys. We're going to drop that other frame we hung on to late earlier. It didn't have much going on right into the center as well. It's a fully drawn comb, but there's not. All those cells are empty. Actually, they're not empty. And she's actually, this is, she's been on here laying. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and drop it right down here in the middle of this brood nest, guys. We. She's got some room in there. Let's try to smoke them back down in there. We're going to put this hive back together, put that tall back box back in there. I need to get back in this hive this coming weekend to make sure. Make sure they're still not in swarming Tennessee. We want to try to keep them. Cover back on there. Close this thing up. Today is uh, March 29th. I got my first swarm call today. Uh, went to a new subdivision they're building. Those bees were hanging up high on an exterior window. Uh, just set my box on the ground, scraped those bees down into the box. Never did see the queen, but I'm pretty sure that I got her in the box. Uh, all those other bees were going to it. So I just left that box sitting there this morning. Hopefully I'm going to get back over there about dusk. I'll take you guys with me. Uh, we'll see if that queen stayed in the box or if we, we even had her in the box at all. If all those bees are still there occupying that box, we'll know that we got her. We'll close it down. We'll bring it back here to the house tonight. Uh, if not, we'll just scratch it up to a learning experience and uh, grab our box and wait till we get another call. Uh, they'll start popping quick now for two or three weeks, get a lot of swarm calls, and then the flow will start up, and uh, those swarm calls will slow down. But uh, anyway, guys, got a few swarm traps sitting out where I know there's a colony in a brick wall. Last year, that colony swarmed three times. Uh, I've got two boxes sitting over there hoping to catch, catch those swarms as they come out. They'll just go straight into the box, save me some work. Uh, but yeah that's, that's all i've got out so those two swarm traps at one location and then uh, i'll just go around collecting bees uh, as i get calls on swarms but we'll check back in with you guys here in just a little bit uh, it'll be just a few seconds for y'all but uh, we'll run over there and see if uh if we got that swarm or not all right guys i'm just a little bit early i normally like to wait until dusk uh to pick up these boxes but uh just wanted to be sure to have enough light for the camera, so we went ahead and come over here uh, just a little bit more. Wait until at least dusk or dark. But as you can see, this is just a new construction side area, new neighborhood that they're building. And this uh, colony swarm was over here behind the behind this house. Let's step over here and see if we got them or not. So when we got here, this uh, swarm, if you guys aren't on Facebook, uh, uh, send me a friend's request on Facebook. Anyway, guys, it looks like they may have left. It looks like we may not have them, but when we originally got here, you can see there's still one or two bees hanging out up there where that original swarm was in that corner. That's probably where the queen was at. It was right there in the corner of that windowsill. See those bees are still coming back uh, to where her scent pheromone was. I'm looking down here, guys, and... I was hoping to see a few bees in here, but I'm not seeing any. Oh, there, there was one just peeked around the corner. So let's lift this up. All right, guys, looks like we do have that swarm. So, uh, so they're all in there. Looks like we ended up getting one, two, three, four frames of bees out of that swarm. So they did settle in the box. We did end up having that queen in there. So uh, good deal. Only thing left is to Put the lid on here, latch this thing down, and uh, take her to the house. But uh, 
like I said, as I come around the corner, if you guys aren't on Facebook, be sure to send me a friend's request on Facebook. Uh, I actually done a couple of shorts. Uh, a couple of shorts whenever I capture this swarm. So uh, I'll, I'll back and forth. Sometimes I'll put stuff on YouTube. Sometimes I'll put stuff on, uh, on uh, Facebook. So you guys be sure to send me a request. So getting here before it's actually dark, we're going to leave end up missing a few field bees that are still out uh, collecting nectar pollen bringing stuff back to the hive if we waited until dark every one of them would be in the hive we'd have them all so getting here a little bit early the only thing that's hurting is uh, just missing a few bees that are still out flying for the day uh, they'll end up finding another colony to uh, to live with and uh, it'll be what it'll be all right guys only thing left to do talking about hives and uh uh boxes and stuff at the beginning of the video if you're interested this right here is an apple may hive and uh it's uh top of the line uh they thought just about everything possibly that you need need with a beehive and they've incorporated it into these boxes you can buy different you can buy nuke sizes you can buy several different configurations but if you're interested go check out apple may hives they they are nice uh, the only thing left to do guys lock that lid down we're just going to close up the front of this thing and uh, carry it to the truck and uh, get it to my bee yard Simple as that guys we'll get it moved to the house get it set up we'll open uh, I actually make a divider where you can divide this down into a nuke size I'll probably throw that divider in here just keep them on this one side less room until they grow we'll open that side up and we'll get them set where we need them at the house and uh, that'll become their home so uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next video